Katie Simpson is tracking the developments for us in Washington. So, Katie, can you walk us through what we know so far? It doesn't get more significant than this, Adrian. It is unprecedented and it is politically explosive. For the FBI to be given the green light to search the home of a former president, analysts say it would require top levels of approval from the Department of Justice. Donald Trump broke the news himself in a statement saying his home in Mar-a-Lago was under siege, raided and occupied by a large group of FBI agents. He says this unannounced raid on my home was not necessary or appropriate, and that they even broke into my safe. What's the difference between this and Watergate? No one from the Department of Justice is commenting yet, but multiple U.S. news agencies are reporting this has to do with the mishandling of confidential documents. When Trump left office, he took 15 boxes of sensitive materials from the White House that he was not supposed to take. Some documents were returned to the National Archives after threats of legal action, but this raid suggests items are outstanding. Now, we already knew the Department of Justice had been looking into Trump's associates and some of Trump's actions on a range of issues, mainly the lead up to January 6th. So this is yet another looming threat hanging over the former president. And so, Katie, aside from the statements that we saw, how is Trump trying to sort of frame or, or even spin this? Well, Trump is doing exactly what we've seen him do in the past. He's casting himself as the victim of a political witch hunt. The claims claiming the Justice Department has been weaponized as a way to prevent him from running again in 2024. His news release even had a link at the bottom for donations. So Trump is trying to make money off of this. His allies are acting as his loudest defenders right now. Steve Bannon went on the Trump-friendly Fox News Network to essentially declare this as an act of war, saying Republicans need to win elections and go after Democrats. Trump followers, the true believers, do not trust the government. They think the election was stolen. This is only going to fuel that movement, and we're seeing the people around Trump already start to tap into it. All right, Katie Simpson in Washington, thank you. Thanks.